The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 17 News at Noon. I'm Alex Fisher. New details this afternoon about the woman who admitted to killing her three children in Los Angeles on Saturday. 17's Aton Wallace and photojournalist Juan Corona spoke exclusively with Liliana Carrillo, who broke down in tears saying she drowned her children to protect them from their father. She believes the father is involved in human trafficking. To be clear, did you kill your children? I did. Why? So I didn't want them to be further abused. I drowned them. I did it as softly, or I don't know how to explain it, but um, I hugged them and I kissed them and I was apologizing the whole time. I love my kids. Authorities say the children's grandmother called police last Saturday morning after she discovered the children dead at the apartment in Reseda. They were ages three, two, and six months old. Kern prosecutors say later in the day, Carrillo drove through Kern County where she allegedly carjacked at least one person, then was arrested in Tulare County near Ponderosa. She pleaded not guilty to the carjacking-related charges on Wednesday. Liliana Carrillo has not formally been charged in the murder of her three children in Los Angeles. During the interview, she said she suffered from anxiety, depression, and PTSD throughout much of her life, but was not under the influence of any drugs or alcohol at the time of the killings. She says she tried to seek help from social workers and saw a therapist at times, but adds her greater attempts to get help were overall unsuccessful. If you would like to see the interview in full, we have posted it on our website, KGET.com. 17's Aton Wallace will have more on this story tonight on 17 News at 5 and 6. And we want to know, people from far and wide have been showing their support for Eric Denton. That's the father of the three children. A GoFundMe account was created and over $41,000 has been donated to, have, to him and his family to help with the horrible loss. You can find this page on GoFundMe.com titled No Words. Last month, Denton petitioned for Carrillo to undergo a mental health evaluation. He also told the LA Times he tried to get help from Los Angeles authorities but says they did not get involved. If you ever suspect child abuse, experts say you should speak up. If you need help or resources, here are some important phone numbers. If there is an emergency, I'll call, always call 911. To report child abuse, you can call the Child Abuse Hotline at 631-6011. And if you need information, you can call the Kern County Network for Children at 636-4488. Or you can call 211 Kern County, a program of community action partnership of Kern. Also new at noon, a local school was placed on lockdown earlier this morning after a social media threat. That threat was directed toward Actus Junior High School. The school was placed on lockdown, and officials say the school reopened shortly after 9 a.m. Police say they're investigating the lockdown. Few details coming in this deadly mass in a deadly mass shooting in Indianapolis at a FedEx facility after a law enforcement briefing this morning. Authorities say they have not yet confirmed the identity of the man who opened fire in the parking lot of the facility, then moved inside to kill eight people and hurt five others before killing himself. This suspect came to the facility, and when he came there, he, uh, he got out of his car and pretty quickly started some random shooting outside the facility. Um, there was no confrontation uh, with anyone that was there. There was no disturbance. There was no argument. He just appeared to randomly start shooting, um, and, and that began in the parking lot, and then he did go into the building, uh, into the facility for a brief period of time before he took his own life. Officials say they're still a number of they are still a number of hours away from being able to process the scene and begin formal identification of the victims. Testimony continues today in the trial of Nicholas Quintana, the man accused of murdering a local attorney. Investigators and neighbors testified yesterday to the gruesome scene found following the death of Marcos Vargas. Quintana is charged with first degree murder and other crimes in the brutal 2017 slaying of Vargas a young attorney with Greater Bakersfield Legal Assistance. Prosecutors say Quintana and Vargas met on a dating app and Vargas invited then 19-year-old, then the 19-year-old, to his apartment.
That's where, according to prosecutors, Quintana stabbed Vargas, inflicting deep wounds to his neck. Vargas died shortly afterward. Sergeant Christopher Bagby, a veteran officer with BPD, testified yesterday that it was among the most gruesome scenes he's ever witnessed, saying Vargas had been virtually decapitated. Testimony continues today, and the trial is expected to wrap up later this week. Meantime, Michael Caleb Reed, the man who led law enforcement on a case on a chase through Southern California last Tuesday, is expected to be arraigned today on charges including carjacking and felony evasion. Reed was previously named a person of interest in a deadly shooting back on March 28th in Oildale, but the district attorney's office has not filed murder charges against him. This despite Reed being booked by the Kern County Sheriff's Office for the death of 40-year-old Michael Lewis. According to the DA's office, the murder case was sent back to KCSO for further investigation. Today we learned another six people have died from COVID-19 in Kern County. Those deaths happened in the winter. We have lost 1,317 lives to this virus. 116 new cases were also reported, bringing our, average, our daily average up to more than 50 people testing positive every day. State data shows there are 36 people in the hospital with COVID-19. Eight are being treated in the ICU. New research suggests people who already had COVID-19 may only need a single dose of the vaccine. The University of Pennsylvania studied... Uh, looked at uh, the study looked at 44 patients who received one dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, and it showed people with a prior COVID infection had already produced a strong immune response. But those who never had the virus did not achieve full immunity until after their second dose. They also needed the second dose to protect against the South African variant, but recovered COVID patients had enough antibody response after one dose. If you live in Delano, Kaiser Permanente is bringing the vaccine to you. Tomorrow, Kaiser will be at Lavina Middle School to offer the Moderna vaccine to anyone 18 and older. They will accept walk-ins, but they say they, that you should make an appointment because their supply is limited. Just call the number on your screen, 412-6701. The vaccine clinic is happening from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. And one of the easiest ways to sign up to get a vaccine is to go to the state's website, myturn.ca.gov. You can also call the number on your screen, 833-422-4255. Clinica Sierra Vista is now offering rapid COVID-19 testing and COVID-19 vaccinations. Call 833-278-4584 to make your appointment. But don't delay. Clinica Sierra Vista, putting patients first. You can get your hands on a variety of tasty treats and help support a local organization. Kern County Teen Challenge has opened their Spring Eats curbside drive through fundraiser. They'll have everything from pulled pork sandwiches, the cheeseburger, and of course their famous kettle corn and apple and peach dumplings. The event starts this weekend and runs until May 30th. It's happening every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. at 301 East Roberts Lane. For more information, head to our website. Man, that looks awfully good. I think I might have to stop by later today. Well, time is running out. You have until Sunday to join in on Target's popular car seat trade-in event. Target will accept any used car seat, including infant seats, convertible seats, car seat bases, harnesses, or booster seats. And in exchange, Target will give you a 20% off coupon toward a new car seat, stroller, or select baby home gear. The coupon is valid in-store or online through May 1st, so you've got a couple weeks. In a sign that Kern County is slowly returning to normal, Village Flea is coming back this weekend. Village Flea is a large-scale flea market held twice a year at Pioneer Village at the Kern County Museum. The event had to be canceled in 2020 because of the coronavirus pandemic. You can browse through a display of antiques, collectibles, homemade crafts, and vintage goods. Plus, there's food, music, and more. It's happening this Sunday from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.